Hey everyone, it's CSM725 from Overclock.net, here to review and unbox the Ducky DK1087C keyboard I have here um, in MX Blue switches. Um, so let's just give you an overall look of the box. Um, I haven't opened this up yet, so I may be a little bit surprised by the contents. It's a Ducky, a very nice refined logo here with a pink Made in Taiwan sticker. Sticker. No, it's printed into the box, actually. That's nice. Nice little touch over here. Very high quality box. Kind of a satin black finish. The keyboard is printed over here. It says there's a phone number there, and then it says 50 million, which I assume is the Cherry Switch Actuations number. Alright, let's crack this bad boy in half. Uh-huh. Just gonna open it right over here. Okay. Okay. Here is what we see when we open the box, a velvet bag with the keyboard, and an accessories container over here in the back, which I'll open up later on. Let's just try to give you a better look. Here is the here is the accessories container where my index finger is, and the accessories are somewhere over here, I assume. Okay, let's open this guy up. I don't know why my webcam is so blurry suddenly. There we go. Okay. So just a first remark, it comes with a little bit of a spec sheet over here, which I'll read up to you guys at the end of the video, double-sided, here we go. Now let's just open, actually let's look at accessories first. We have a cable, a USB to PS2, oh, oh look at that, that's nice, it's a USB to USB cable, that's the detachable cable the keyboard uses, and it comes with a USB to PS2 adapter plugged in, very nice touch. And if we pick the board up, we see purple, yeah, I will, lavender WASD keys, a Ducky text escape key, and a Ducky logo escape key, very nice in red. And it also comes with a key puller. All right, let's crack this bad boy in half once more. So it comes from first impressions with a nice keyboard cover, which is something I use a lot with my Philco, so that's appreciated. And let's take the cover off. And here is the keyboard itself. Very nice. First impressions are... Very clicky, actually. Um, it comes with an, an embedded numlock LED and an embedded caps lock LED, which I'll show you guys here before I plug the keyboard in. Right on the caps lock key over there, you can see it. Comes with an OCN branded space bar. Ducky here, OCN here. Thank you very much, OCN, for this keyboard. And also comes with a nice OCN flame escape key. Very nice touch. I appreciate it very much. Now, let's pull a key and see, see how these axe blues are. Let's check it out. Let's pull the R key. Okay, here we are. Very clever what I did there. Here is the MX Blue switch. Just get it in your view. And very clicky. I'll do a typing comparison later on in the video. Now, if you're wondering, here is how we're going to... Let's just look at the keycap first, actually. Just pull it out right there. It appears to be... Yeah, it's, it's pad printed, so nothing new. But the keys feel very glossy, very shiny. So that's a nice touch. I actually like it better than the stock Philco Ninja keycap. So that's very nice. Let's just switch. Let's stick the keyboard here on my wrist rest. Grab the USB cable here. First of all, let's switch up. Hey, what's this? Hold on. There's something in my keyboard. What is this? I'll get you guys a good view of it. I'm pulling some keycaps here to give you a good view. What is this? I'm trying to get an idea of what what is this? Hold on. It's not a button. I have no idea what it is. You can see it there between the three switches, that little metal dot over there. Now I have no idea what this is. It's definitely very odd, but okay. I'll ask later and edit the description with the answer. Okay. Let's just pop these keycaps back on and swap them for another set. Alright. 
here is the H popping on, here is the J. Here the keyboard is, you can see the back of it, the feet come with rubber on it, good, very solid. It feels, it is much lighter than my Philco, I can confirm that. Let's just plop this guy right over here. Okay, let's just get some, well, definitely very weird coming from Browns. Let's just pull these caps and replace some of them. Let's start with some WASD, and then we'll check out the different escape ones. WASD. Alright, just going to show you guys how to pull the cap if you're not aware already. You just take the keyboard here, stick your key puller right over here, stick that guy right in there. You'll hear a little bit of a click. And just, just make sure you have a bit of force and pull the key off. I've made it look much harder than it really is, but it will result in the key being in your puller over here. You can see the stem. And let's just put these keycaps right on. You, you might need to press them down a bit to get them down to the level of the other keycaps because they do take a bit of force down there. Keycaps are feeling nice and glossy, nice and shiny. Stabilizers feel nice. The switch is different. I'm not used to blues. The click they make, it's more of a tweet. I wouldn't call it a click, actually. And here is the keyboard. Here's how it looks. All right, let's plug this guy in, I guess. Oh, wait, let me show you guys the, the escape keys, just to give you guys an idea of what comes included with these guys. We have the ducky, let's flip these over. All right, we have the ducky logo, which is this one over here, the quack, and the ducky text. Nice, but I'm going to stick to my OCN one right over here which is snazzy. I was not expecting that. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, okay, well, let's move these guys aside and plug this guy right in. Comes with a Velcro strap for cable management. So does the Philco. Good feature. Very appreciated. Thank you. Let's plug this guy in. Let's see how I like the cable system here. Very nice. I like it much better than the CM Storm. It's easy to plug in. And let's just plug it into my monitor's side port for now. If I like this keyboard more, I'll use it as a daily driver, but we'll see. Time will tell. Where can I get this in here? Okay. There we are. Plug it in. All right. You can see the NumLock LED over here. I'll get you a good picture of that. You can see it shines through the back of the key a little bit, but there's the LED. It is normal blue like the Philco, and it just looks white because of my lighting, and here is the Caps Lock LED, again blue. My NumLock key does appear to have a bit of a scratch on it, but no matter, I suppose. It's just a scratch. Yep. NumLock key is a bit scratched up, definitely, but that's not a problem on the day-to-day -day basis. Let's see, what do we have here? We have... Let's look at the page now. Where is that page? Here it is. Okay. So, let's just read it up. We have the Ducky 1087 series on the right. It has... It says it's a keycap with circle LED lens. So that's just going to be, I assume, these things over here. Um, no multimedia, no fast menu, and key rollover using the PS2 adapter over here. This one right there. Uh, separating cable, yes, that's the detachable cable. Win key lock, right out, plus application. All right, let's test this out. I pressed Windows, that got Windows, that got the start menu up. Now let's lock it. And Windows key is locked. And unlocked, nice. Auxiliary axis, yes, God, I don't know what that means. Built-in calculator, if numlock is on, all right, let's just test that up. Let's open Notepad. Ooh, these are fun to type on. Let's type in some words. Okay, numlock is on. And it's numbers. Okay, that's a very nice feature. Um, what that is, is numlock. Um, you have an integrated number pad here, which is amazing. Um, I think that alone will make me use this keyboard on a day-to-day -day basis. That's amazing. You have a numpad here with little text. Um, let me just make sure I'm showing you. All right. You see the little letters over there on the UIOPJKL, etc. Those are the that's the numpad layer over there. Um, what else does this have? It gives you the dimensions and the weight is one kilo. 
Uh, the Philco the Philco weighs much much more and it feels sturdier. Um, definitely looks very nice, and I can actually go ahead and give you a bit of a typing comparison between this Ducky MX Blues and my Philco MX Browns. All right, I'm just gonna type the quick round fox a couple of times. Let's see how good I do. Okay, this is definitely weird. Okay, that was definitely a, an interesting experience. Let's unplug this ducky over here and put my Philco, my daily driver right now, back here. You can see that it's about the same dimensions. And now let's type it up in MX Blues. I'm sorry, in MX Browns. Okay, so that's a bit of a sound comparison. Um, quick impressions from the blues. They are definitely clicky. They're very, very, very clicky. Um, they are... They're interesting to type on. It appears the board has lots of these little circles here. Maybe they're just solder points or screws. Probably screws for stability. Um, I'll try swapping out the 37 keys on the MX Blues. And I'll see how that sounds typing and see how it feels typing, if it feels any better. But um, I'm undecided which switch I like more. I will definitely update the description, maybe even make another video, see which one I like more. Um, Alright, that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. Yep, seems I have. Um, again, it does come with a keyboard cover with a Ducky logo here, and it's recyclable, which is nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. Thank you very much, Overclock.net, for this awesome free Ducky keyboard here. Um, I love it. The blues are interesting. I'll get back to you guys how I feel about them. But it's a solid keyboard. Um, amazing. Thank you very much, guys. Over and out.